Hi there, today we'll look at the new inquiry form feature that's been added to Bake Diary. This form will allow your customers to more easily send inquiries to you directly into Bake Diary. To access your inquiry form, the first thing you'll do is go to Settings, scroll down and click on Manage Inquiry Form. On this page, you will see there are a couple of options available to you. The first thing you'll do is make sure that your form is enabled. The next thing you have is you have the ability to create a custom form alias. Now what this means is, as you can currently see, your URL or your web address has a long number underneath it. But in order to make it easier to remember and share with your customers, you can simply rename it. And an example would be just cakes. Now one thing to remember is that there should be no spaces in here and you don't need to get any other information, just purely the name that you want to have added to the end of your URL. Once you're done, simply hit OK. You'll now notice that the URL has updated and you have a simple form like this. Open up a tab and type in your address that you saw below here. Your inquiry form will show a single button that your customer can select and then fill up the inquiry form that feeds straight into Bake Diary. Remember, this does not guarantee an order, but purely an inquiry that you will still need to convert. I'll fill out the form and show you how it works. Once your customer has filled out the information, they'll then be able to choose the event details. This will be automatically driven from your list of event types you have in Bake Diary. If you have dates booked out in the calendar that you don't want to take orders on, they will also appear up in the calendar drop-down. I'll fill out the rest of the form now. Once the user is finished filling out the details, they'll have the option to include any image or add an additional message that they want to send along with the inquiry. Now that the order is finished, all they'll have to do is select the checkbox to confirm they're not a robot and hit Submit Inquiry. And that's it, the email has been sent. You will now receive an email confirming the inquiry to your email address, but you can also always go back into your Bake Diary account and go to Inquiries and you'll see the inquiry has just come in. To view the details of the inquiry, simply click on it and you can see all the information that is just sent in that inquiry. From here, you can click on Create as Order and fill it out as you normally would have. Once you're done, just hit Save Order and email off the invoice to your customer. It will automatically pull in the email address that was sent along in the inquiry initially. One other thing you'll notice is that you have the option to include products in your inquiry form. To do this, simply go to your product section, search for whichever products you want to add, in this case I'll add chocolate chip cookies, and you'll notice there's a toggle button that you can switch on to enable this product. Now, if I go back to my inquiry form and I refresh, I'll now see I have two options where I can either click on general inquiry and still send a standard form or otherwise click on browse products and I can see a list of any available products that I might have pre-added. You can add as many products as you want there and these can be seasonal. I'll add a few more now just to show you what it looks like. Right, so now I've added a few more products and you can see they all are visible here. If your customer wants to order one of these products, they can simply hit on Add and a bar will appear at the bottom. They can add as many products as they want. They can also always preview what products they have available or have selected. And once they're happy, they can simply hit Continue and they'll now appear as requested items that they want to send along with this inquiry. They will still fill out the rest of the order as normal and then simply hit Send. These products will also be added to the inquiry so when you convert it to an order, they are already pre-selected. You can obviously still edit and change them once you've added them to the order, but it just makes the selection process a little bit easier.